Now this is the fourth part of the design of shaft. Here we'll be looking at further examples. So let me do it down, read out the questions for you. So first, determine the dimensions of a hollow shaft with a diameter ratio of 3 to 4. Which is to transmit 60 kilowatt power at a speed of 200 revolutions per minute. The maximum shear stress in the shaft is limited to 70 mega pascal and the angle of twist to be 3.8 degree in a length of 4 meter. For the shaft material, the modulus of rigidity or the shear modulus to be 80 giga pascal. Now, take note, based on the questions, we know that there are two limiting conditions. One is based on the shear stress. Two is based on the angle of twist. So that means in this question here, you have to work out based on the strength and also the stiffness or the rigidity. So the first part here, that is the diagram for a hollow shaft, the polar moment of inertia about the z-axis. So based on strength relationship, this is your strength relationship, torque transmitted, so based on the power formula, can find out the torque and the speed is 200 RPM. The power given is 60 times 10 to the power of 3 watts. So the torque would be this. So 2860 Newton meter. Now, polar moment of inertia for a hollow shaft. Sorry, a solid shaft again. Hollow shaft here. It should be hollow shaft here. So this is the equation or the formula we use for the moment of inertia for a hollow shaft so and also we know that based on this equation j is equals to t times r divided by tau so you bring j over to the right hand side as the subject so you have this 2.86 times 10 to the power of 3 that is the torque the di uh, sorry the radius there is the diameter divided by 2 and the shear stress is 70 mega pascal here okay so based on this we can work out the j and also we know that the diameter ratio is three sorry is should be four over three of d four over three if this uppercase letter d here is the external diameter this is the internal diameter so it should be four over three not three over four sorry so from the diameter the external diameter so we have 67.3 millimeter for the external diameter and the internal diameter as 50.5 millimeter please do something with this okay so this d here should be 4 over 3 of d or the small d is equal the small d is equal to 3 over 4 of the uppercase letter d Okay, that is a mistake here and also a mistake here. Please take note. Okay. So based on stiffness relationship, so this is your stiffness relationship. So you have this equation. Your J is equal to this. So, and this is what we have earlier, the J. So substitute, okay the J, the T, the L, the G, and the angle of twist. Based on this, the diameter to the power of 4, based on the polar moment of inertia, diameter to the power of 4 from this. So you have diameter is equal to 75.3 mm, that is the external diameter, and the internal diameter is 56.5 millimeter. And then based on strength relationship, we have this. This is your strength relationship and these are the pair of values that we have got earlier based on strength relationship. 
and based on stiffness relationship, we have this pair of values. Okay, so based on these two sets of values, you have to choose the largest diameter. That means the larger of the external diameters, that is 75.3, and the larger between the two of this internal diameter, 56.5, to be the answer of the design, for the design of the shaft. Thus, the dimensions required for the shaft to satisfy both conditions, that means these two conditions, are the outer diameter, the larger among these two values, and the inner diameter, 56, the larger between these two values as well. Thank you. That is all for this example 4 here. And we continue to the next slide. Thank you very much. Any comments, please put on my comment section below on my YouTube channel for this uh, particular podcast. Thank you very much. See you again.